For this procedure, a surgeon makes an incision down the center of the knee about 8 to 10 inches long and then cuts through deeper tissue, including the quadriceps tendon. The patella is then flipped over to access the major leg bones. The surgeon then uses a bone saw to remove the arthritically damaged areas at the bottom of the femur and the top of the tibia. This includes all the cartilage and bone structure, damaged or not, in order to make space for the prosthetic implant. The surgeon then resurfaces the femur and tibia as well as the back of the patella prior to the implant. The prosthetic joint is then secured in place. In addition to the artificial joint, a polyethylene component may be attached to facilitate the patella's gliding against the new prosthetic joint, as well as a flexible polyethylene cushion attached to the top of the new tibia surfaces to act as a shock absorber between the two new prosthetic surfaces. The surgeon will repair any deep tissue that was cut during surgery and then stitch the skin at the incision.